years, lithium has been the heart of electric cars, underpinning the first major revolution in transportation. But behind the rhetoric of autonomy and performance, a silent problem has always lurked. The risk of fire, the gradual loss of capacity, and rising production costs. It's at this point that Tesla emerges with a bold proposal for 2026, replacing lithium with aluminum ion. This shift isn't just a material change, but a complete reinvention of the battery concept designed to be safer, more stable, and much more reliable. Looking at this advancement, it's clear that it's not just a step forward, but the beginning of a new chapter in global electrification, where safety and longevity go hand in hand. What makes this battery so different lies in its core. Instead of the traditional flat electrode found in lithium batteries, Tesla uses a superstructured honeycomb-shaped aluminum electrode. This three-dimensional architecture increases the cathode contact area by up to five times and disperses heat 40 times faster than lithium, something never before seen in the industry. This thermal dissipation capacity not only improves performance, but virtually eliminates the risks associated with overheating. This structure also provides superior mechanical strength, withstanding impacts and vibrations without compromising internal stability. It's as if each cell were a small fortress ready to face extreme conditions. The absence of flammable electrolytes is another crucial point of this design. In lithium batteries, these liquids are the main culprits of fires when an internal failure occurs. In aluminum ion batteries, however, there's simply no fuel to burn. This difference completely changes the rules of the game, making safety an intrinsic attribute of the technology. In extreme crash tests, the risk of fire dropped to just 0.05%, representing a reduction of about 50 times compared to conventional lithium batteries. This statistic isn't just technical. It redefines consumer confidence in electric vehicles, something the industry has lacked since its inception. Another interesting aspect is the battery's tolerance to much higher temperatures. While lithium batteries begin to present a risk above 120 degrees of 240 degrees of, aluminum ion batteries continue to operate stably up to 250 degrees, 470 degrees of degree. This is practically double the thermal safety window. In regions like Arizona and Texas, or even on scorching roads, this characteristic represents not only comfort, but also technological survival. This increased margin allows Tesla engineers to simplify cooling systems, reducing weight and cost, while increasing reliability. This new honeycomb architecture also has an unexpected effect. It self-regulates. Aluminum is an excellent heat conductor, and when combined with the nano-ceramic coating developed by Tesla, just 0.5 micrometers thick, about 1 one-hundredth the width of a human hair, it creates a uniform flow of ions. This flow prevents so-called energy traffic jams within the cell, which are critical points in conventional batteries. Without these blockages, internal hotspots disappear, preventing the short circuits that often lead to explosions. To understand the impact of this, just think of the battery industry's biggest nightmare, dendrites. These metallic microspines grow inside lithium cells, puncturing separators and causing fatal short circuits. In aluminum ion batteries, they simply don't form. The result is a simpler, lighter battery that doesn't require complex cooling systems or heavy layers of protection. The design itself becomes the safety system, nipping the risk in the bud. This is the difference between containing a problem and preventing it from occurring. The safety gain isn't just for engineers or statistics. It translates into peace of mind for drivers. The idea that an electric car can withstand extreme temperatures, severe collisions, or long journeys without the risk of combustion completely changes public perception. It's a shift that influences not only individual consumers, but also fleet operators, insurers, and governments who are beginning to see electric vehicles as more viable and less risky solutions. Aluminum ion isn't just another technology. 
It's a promise of stability for an entire ecosystem. This advancement also has direct implications for the vehicle's lifespan. By eliminating thermal and chemical risks, the battery maintains its structural integrity for much longer, postponing costly maintenance and increasing the vehicle's resale value. Furthermore, greater resistance to temperatures and impacts drastically reduces the chances of recalls due to power system failures, a problem that has cost automakers billions over the last decade. This robustness changes not only technical performance, but also the business model behind electric cars. The transition from lithium to aluminum ion thus marks the end of one era and the beginning of another. It's not just a material change, but a new design philosophy where safety, durability, and performance come together in a single package. This shift promises not only to transform Tesla cars, but to reconfigure the entire electric automotive industry. What began as a technical innovation is now shaping up to be a quiet revolution, gradually repositioning the role of batteries in the mobility of the future. The fact that aluminum ion eliminates the risk of fire at the cellular level would be a victory in itself. But Tesla's engineering went further. The company understood that in the real world, safety needs to be treated as a system of layers, not a single barrier. Therefore, each micromodule within the battery pack was designed to withstand individual stresses while simultaneously isolating failures without allowing the problem to spread. Each cell is surrounded by a barrier material inspired by aerospace technologies capable of blocking heat and redirecting pressurized gases to its own exhaust channels. These channels form a backbone of internal ventilation that prevents any dangerous buildup. If a cell experiences overpressure and needs to release gas, this flow doesn't invade the entire module. It's precisely redirected to the outside of the car in a controlled manner. Furthermore, microscopic fuses activate in fractions of a second, cutting off the current to the affected area. On average, this cutoff occurs between 4 and 6 milliseconds, preventing the temperature from spreading or the electric current from causing new heat sources. It's as if the system shuts down the affected block before the fire even lights the first match. In abuse tests, such as the SAJ2464 standard, which simulates nail penetration, the results are impressive. The peak temperature in a faulty cell didn't exceed 88 degree creeks, and in less than 90 seconds, it had already dropped below 60 degrees. No neighboring cells ignited. In other words, the battery not only survived the attack, but also managed to prevent any thermal propagation. Tesla isn't banking on luck or quick human reactions. The system itself takes action before danger has time to arise. This thermal insulation capability also extends to the entire package. In one of the most demanding tests, Tesla forced a cell to fail within a module already artificially heated to 70 degrees tours close to the limit of many electronic components. Even so, thanks to the honeycomb structure and the ceramic coating that accelerates heat dissipation, no other cell in the module reached even 45 Eidrasters. The thermal propagation index remained at zero, even with the deliberate failure of multiple cells. This shows that the design doesn't rely on luck. It is designed to fail safely. Another crucial detail is what you can't see the choice of electrolyte. By abandoning the pressurized carbon solvents typical of lithium batteries, Tesla removed the fuel that often turns a small leak into a fireball. The aluminum ion battery simply doesn't carry flammable mixtures. And even when gases need to be released, the ventilation system dilutes these emissions in chambers below the vehicle floor, directing the flow downward. The impact on cabin safety is immediate. In fire simulation tests, smoke density was 80% lower than in lithium-ion models. And it's not just about avoiding a fire, it's about protecting passengers until the last second. Visibility inside the car remains sufficient for evacuation even in an extreme failure scenario. Carbon monoxide concentrations remain below critical levels, and in many cases, no noticeable smoke is generated 
This gives occupants time, clarity, and safety to calmly exit the vehicle. What's more, automatic sensors detect sudden deceleration, collisions, or floor deformations and cut power within 10 milliseconds, reducing system voltage to harmless levels before any sparks can occur. This rapid response is complemented by arc-resistant bus spars and connections filled with insulating gel. This means that even in severe collisions, where parts of the electrical system are damaged, the risk of post-impact sparking is virtually zero. In internal tests with high-energy crash simulations, the probability of post-crash fire dropped to less than 0.06%. This is 80 times safer than the lithium-ion batteries currently used in most electric vehicles on the market. And most importantly, without the need for heavy shielding or massive liquid cooling. For everyday situations, such as impacts with road debris or errors in trailers and ditches, the battery is also prepared. The protective bottom tray has a design that distributes the force of the impact over a larger area, reducing local stress by up to 60%. In pile drilling tests at 35 Th, the internal temperature increased by only 12 degrees, and the system was able to isolate the affected area, returning to normal operation after the event. This transforms damage that would previously have resulted in a recall or complete replacement into mere routine maintenance, avoiding excessive costs and, of course, greater risks. The combination of these strategies creates something rare in the automotive industry, a technology that appears to have anticipated every possible failure scenario. And not only did it anticipate, but it also engineered automatic, physical, and electrical responses for each one. With the battery functioning as an autonomous defense system, the driver doesn't need to worry about reacting. The car itself acts on their behalf. This systemic safety philosophy, which begins with the material and ends with the emergency algorithms, sets a new standard for the industry. A standard that, until now, lithium has never been able to achieve. If aluminum ion is impressive for its safety, what comes next is even more surprising. Its durability practically redefines what we mean by useful life in a battery. Most current electric vehicles, like the Model 3 or Model Y, can travel between 300,000 and 500,000 miles before losing about 20% of their capacity. That sounds like a lot, but for a car designed as a long-term investment, that still means inevitable wear and tear. Aluminum ion, on the other hand, raises this bar to an almost unbelievable level, up to 3 million miles, while maintaining about 90% of its original capacity. It's like trading something disposable for something built to last for generations. This performance is only possible because the new chemistry eliminates the main degradation mechanisms that plague lithium. In conventional batteries, carbonate-based solvents evaporate over time and form solid deposits on the electrodes with each charge cycle. This impedes the natural flow of ions, creating internal resistance, heating, and progressive loss of capacity. Over the years, even with moderate use, this degradation accumulates. Aluminum ion solves this fundamental problem. It uses a polymer gel electrolyte with a boiling point above 300 Dodicidiki that doesn't evaporate or form scales, keeping the conduction channels clean. And when it comes to extreme use, like charging your car every day in a hurry, in high temperatures, the difference becomes even more dramatic. Lithium suffers when forced to use high currents, especially above 70 Dodicidikis, which is common in hot climates or during rapid charging. Aluminum cells, on the other hand, maintain their stability even in peak heat, allowing for much higher charging currents. This means the battery can be charged and discharged quickly, without suffering. It's the perfect combination, long lifespan and speed. This advancement translates into practical numbers that seem to have come straight out of a futuristic scenario. Tesla's aluminum ion batteries support rates of up to 100 peaks durtines, meaning they can receive 100 times their capacity without damage. 
This allows them to reach 80% charge in about 3 minutes and 100% in less than 5. In comparison, the best current ultra-fast chargers require at least 15 to 20 minutes to reach the same levels with lithium-ion batteries. This speed isn't just convenient. It eliminates the anxiety of waiting, congestion at charging stations, and provides an experience closer to traditional gasoline refueling. Resistance to degradation also directly impacts an EV's total cost of ownership. Many drivers hesitate to adopt electric cars because they fear the moment when the battery dies and needs to be replaced. With aluminum ion, this concern virtually disappears. Even after 20,000 complete charge and discharge cycles, something that would take centuries with average annual use, capacity loss remains below 10%. This means the vehicle not only lasts longer, but also maintains its performance and range even after decades on the road. Another aspect that completely changes with this technology is the relationship between charging speed and aging. With lithium, rapid recharges accelerate chemical wear. It's as if each turbocharge shortens the battery's lifespan slightly. With aluminum ion, this doesn't happen. The battery can be charged aggressively every day, in hot climates, without damaging its internal structure. This opens up new possibilities for commercial use, taxi fleets, delivery vehicles, and intensive transportation services, where time is money and longevity is everything. From an environmental perspective, this extreme durability drastically reduces the need for battery production and disposal. Fewer replacements, less resource extraction, less toxic waste, Sustainability is no longer just a marketing slogan. It becomes a direct consequence of engineering. This helps balance the ecological footprint of the electricity sector, which still faces criticism for the environmental impact of lithium mines and the short lifespan of conventional batteries. Now, with a system that can last over 200 years with moderate use, the equation is truly changing. To put this in perspective, the average driver in the United States travels about 12,000 miles per year. This means that an aluminum-ion battery could theoretically last two centuries without needing replacement. This is more than seven times the expected lifespan of a Hyundai Ionic 5 driven daily for 30 years, or 11 times that of a Chevrolet Bolt with its 17-year battery. The difference is so great that it changes the very concept of end of life for an electric car. If the chassis and software hold up, the battery will continue to thrive, ready to span generations like no other automotive component before it. When a battery is safer, lasts much longer, and charges in minutes, the effects extend far beyond the home garage. They begin to reshape the entire economy behind electric mobility. One of the first areas to feel this impact is the insurance industry. Upon realizing that aluminum ion batteries have a fire risk 50 times lower than lithium ion batteries, insurers react quickly. Statistics matter more than promises. And with fewer total loss incidents caused by thermal failures, actuarial models point to immediate reductions in premiums, between 14% and 22% savings for vehicles equipped with this new technology.